Hello. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about relationships and money and how money can affect a relationship. Well, the having money or the lack of having money in a relationship can really affect two people. See, the first, the first thing is first. Relationships are between two people. And between the two of you guys, you guys can decide how you want to view money. But the reality of life is you can't date somebody. For me personally, this is my personal opinion. I don't think you can date somebody who is a direct polar opposite of who you are when it comes to money and i'll give you an example of why i say this you were dating somebody and let's say you guys want to go on a trip to um first of all you want to go away then your boyfriend or significant other says to you um let's go to cape town meanwhile throughout your entire life you have been going to cape town and you really don't want to go on vacation in Cape Town. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Cape Town. What I'm trying to explain or trying to demonstrate is that for two people who are on the same financial standing, it almost makes a relationship a little bit easier. Because if I say to you, no, let's rather go to uh, Mauritius, then the person, if they are on the same level as me, going to Mauritius does not seem like such a big task. It doesn't seem like such a big thing. And yeah, it's, this thing sounds very, very wrong. And it sounds, it just, it, just it, sounds, it sounds wrong. But the reality of life is that that's what money does in a lot of relationships. Money can become an issue if you are dating somebody who is directly the opposite of who you are. It also comes down to things like, what you spend your money on you know you may date somebody maybe date a man who spends his money on Louis Vuitton shoes who dates who spends his money on red bottom shoes who buys expensive cars there's nothing wrong with it because that's the life that he is choosing yes it is your duty as his significant partner to say to him listen i feel like you need to work on your money spending or your money management or how your money discipline or your discipline towards money but the reality of life is we all come from different backgrounds so it is very difficult for you to date somebody because what you're actually ultimately going to be doing is that you have to work on them first and try get them to your level of finance and i'm not talking now in in terms of how much money you've got but in terms of your thinking you have to work to try and get them to the same level as you when it comes to thinking about money and how they approach money and their relationship with money i'll give you another example sometimes they're two you're two different people sometimes um, experiences are more important to you and an experience could be what you guys go and do on holiday now and then sometimes to the other person, what's important might be how they travel or which host, um, hotel they live in. So those are two different things that you need to also keep in mind. Do you understand? That you may want to go and stay at a four-star hotel, five-star hotel. For you, that is the experience. Meanwhile, your significant other wants to go and he wants to compromise on the venue of where you guys stay and he's happy to spend the money on something else the experiences that you do the fine dining that you guys go into so that's the kind of thing that I'm, I'm, I mean when I say you need to date somebody in your own financial lane so that it equalizes what it is that you guys do so let's give you let's give you another example if you are the, the hotel person, then you can say, you know what, baby, I'll pay for the, for the hotel, for our accommodation, and you can handle all the other activities. And you kind of balance it out. But you also don't want to find yourself in a situation where you, by some sort of surprise, you end up taking care of people because you are the person who has the more money in the relationship and you keep contributing. Because the reality is, I don't think in this world there are people who are going to force you to support them but situation can get there you can you can get so comfortable in a relationship or what where it's one-sided in terms of finances to a point where you start thinking it's normal but meanwhile it's not normal for the other person it really is not normal for the other person people also get tired of ukbatala men likewise get tired of paying for dates they get tired of paying for getaways they get tired of buying gifts all the time and we need to appreciate this and i think also it's a thing of you know i'm a woman and i want to be spoiled i love being spoiled but let me give you guys a secret men also like to be spoiled so if you can show your man that you can kind of match him when it comes to finances you also do your best in whatever that you've got then it kind of starts to shift the conversation just a little bit in terms of your finance like I said when I started, 
a relationship is between two people. So how you guys want to split your finances is obviously between the two of you. But the reality of life is nobody, whether it's the man who's got more money or the woman who's got more money, wants to end up supporting somebody. Because now, let's say it's Ninini, I wake up and I'm like, you, I want to go to Dubai. But I want to go to Dubai and I really want to go to Dubai, but I've only got a budget for one person. I've only got a budget for one person to go to Dubai. So what must happen? And I want to share my life with you. So now, for me to be able to get to Dubai, I have to wait until you've got money to, to go to Dubai. You understand those kind of things? And uh, that's why I say, you know, it's, it's not just also about just dating somebody in a financial lane. It's also dating somebody that you kind of have an understanding with. Because that's the reality of life is that if you can't be with the person that you are and you guys don't understand each other, you're also going to have money issues. That's what I'd like to move to money issues and talking about not having money or having too much money or whatever it is we black people traditionally have been our parents have never taught us about money we've never been taught to have discussions about money especially black men they can't admit when they don't have money or they're having some sort of financial issue and it's very sad that they can't talk to the people that are supposed to be their significant others because it almost puts them at on this level Uti, you are struggling or it's some sort of problem that you can't discuss with your significant other and that's where the problem starts you and your partner need to have an open an open conversation about money it is very important because it will determine where your relationship is going and that ultimately is very very important because if you find that you are putting somebody under pressure, and sometimes we put people under pressure without even realizing it. It's a fact. We put people under pressure without even noticing that we do it. But purely because this is how we were brought up. And there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong we've been brought up with money. But there's also nothing wrong with being brought up in poverty, if that's what it was. There's nothing wrong with being brought up in a household where you guys were just, you know, were average and you were just getting by every single month. But the reality is that we need to be, first and foremost, we need to be compassionate to each other so that we, also, we all get to understand each other. And that's why sometimes it's very important that when you start dating people, you kind of get to know them very well before you actually date them. Because sometimes you can get stuck dating somebody who has not broken from the mentality of poverty to a point where this person is not just, they're not thrifty, uh, they're, not, they're not stingy, they just really are stuck in this mentality of poverty to a point where a person you know, it's, it buys, even when they've got money, they just can't seem to spend it on certain things, certain li lifestyle type of things, because they're so worried about poverty. They're so worried that, you know, because they've grown up in it. And that's why I say sometimes, and maybe this is the coward way of, of doing things, sometimes it's easier to date somebody in the same financial lane as you, because it does make the relationship a little bit better. And once you were there, it is easier also to have that conversation about money. To say, I, I always say to people, do this thing in your relationship as early as possible. If you guys are really going steady and you have a good relationship with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, say to that person, listen, let's open a joint account. This joint account primarily is so that you both can contribute to it every month. This then takes away the pressure of one person having to pay for certain things all the time because if you're both contributing 500 rand to this um, bank account or you're both contributing 200 rand then you know Uguti, you can go out for dinner maybe once a month or you can save up together for a, a holiday you know you can do certain things together and both of you feel that you are part of this thing as opposed to every time one person is the one who's paying and the other person you know even though people think that we are opportunists, especially as women, people think we are opportunists, people think we are after their money, we're not really, we want to do things with you. Sometimes we can't afford them, but we get so used to a routine where you guys are paying to a point where I kind of start losing my power as a woman because then you can use your money to actually control me. Because, and in this thing, people say, no, independent women are disrespectful. Uh, excuse me, independent, if you are saying independent women are disrespectful, or independent women don't want to listen, we can say the same thing about men who have money. Because men who have money use their money to control women. They want to say when we go, where, where we're going, when we're going. So ultimately, my getaways must be determined by you because you are the one pay. So as the other person who doesn't have money in this relationship, I can never suggest places to go. I can only say, you, yes, I want to go to Paris. 
oh, I wish one day I can go to Paris, but it's all dependent on you to take me to Paris. So those are the kind of things that we need to kind of look at. And that's why I want to start this conversation. I don't have the answers. I don't have everything. I just want to get your guys' opinion on how you feel. I know people say love shouldn't be about, relationship shouldn't be about money and how much the other person is money. But let's be realistic, guys. Let's be realistic. Because you know what? It's easy to say things when we're standing on these high grounds and talking about how money is not important in a relationship. Money Money is certainly important in a relationship. I always say it puts both you and your significant other on the same level. Respect should not change whether you've got more money or you've got less money. If you are disrespectful to somebody because you've got more money, that's you being a trashy person. But we can't take away the fact that sometimes people get pseudo power or pseudo control issues because of money. And sometimes, I mean, really, as a man, do you really want to date somebody who doesn't have money? Do you really want to date a girl who's got ikoloto? To think that when you marry her, if you guys marry out in, in community of property, you have to adopt all her debt? Do you really want to marry a man who has absolutely no financial understanding, no financial management, no financial literacy, to a point where one day he's going to run your household broke and you guys are going to live in poverty? There is nothing sexy about romanticizing poverty guys absolutely nothing and also you don't want to date somebody who is you know trying to look rich but while being poor it's it's, it's you know it's, it's stupid so that's why i say when i say date in your financial lane i mean date somebody who has the same values and understanding and is the same type of relationship with money as you do